one person can make a team successful. Everybody must contribute so that the team can be successful. So that's why interdependence. So the word interdependence is a very important word. Must know that. Okay? The team leader has good people skills and has a developing team approach. Okay, that's good. People skills, good people skills. Good interpersonal skills. All these are called people skills. Right? Team member. Okay. A team member. A team member is capable and willing to contribute information, skills, and experience. He, he or she is able to direct and open and be open in their communication. Okay, team members are able to direct, to direct, to be direct. They are able to be direct and be open in their communication. They develop mutual trust and belief each other and believe other members. Okay. Other members, each other. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. <coughs> Let's look at this team building. Okay, now when, when we manage a team, when we are involved in team building, there will be Identify. 
Once you know, alright, like these three girls here, you know, they're touching each other and disturbing, alright? They, they take <laughs> the table covers everything, but I can see, alright? Not your, you know, but the, the hand like that, like going like that, going like that, going like that, going like that. I can see, alright?
two. Add disagreement indirectly to other people. You voice out your disagreement indirectly. Alright? To other people. You don't say directly. Alright? So you tell to other people. Making strong public statement. You make, you know, or you go to the social media even. Alright? Nowadays, I think many people, they use the social media to complain. Alright? Sometimes we do that. Alright? So, making strong public statement or even using social media. All these are indicators of conflict. People are not happy, they go and make strong public statement or they use social media to complain. Right? Increasing lack of respect for each other. They don't respect each other now. So that is an indication of conflict. All right? Desire for power. Some people they you know they want power. So that is also an indication of conflict. Right? So how do we overcome or avoid conflicts? Let's try and understand that. Um, okay, boss versus leader, I will do next lesson. We just try and finish this uh, one section here. Right? Okay. This one, let's try and do this. Uh, let's understand this. In order to avoid or resolve conflict, one must meet the problem head on. I think this is very, very important. Don't run away from problems. All right? Don't run away. Don't uh, uh, pretend that the problem is not there. All right? Face it head on. Meaning you, you, you um, confront the problem straight. Don't wait, alright? If you've got a problem, quickly find a way to solve it. So you face the problem head on, meaning you confront the problem and